Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at AVAX. This is going to be a higher time frame video. Let's get into the charts and see what's going on. Okay, so in the previous higher time frame video that we did, we were talking about this idea that what we could have here is that this is a five wave move that's actually completed up into these highs already. Now, this is the primary way that I'm looking at the structure. Now, we can potentially argue that it completes into this high or this high over here. Now, if we do complete into this lower one here, what we could then see is that this move starts from this point and would align better with the idea of a five wave structure to the downside. Now, the key idea here is that this is a completed structure to the upside here and what we're looking for is a three wave move to the downside now the most common zone that i'm looking for as a support zone for a b wave would be this 1136 to this 258 so that is the 0 0.5 to the 786 this is the most common area that we look for for a b wave so if we do look to continue to push on down here i'm going to be paying attention towards this golden pocket level of the 617 to this 523 this also aligns quite nicely with moving back into this high over here as well as that if we do look to push down deeper the 786 would align quite nicely with coming back into these lows if we are looking for a move that is going to trend we ideally don't want to lose the 786 but the problem is we don't have all the price history here so because of that reason we have to be open to interpretation of a different count here as well now because we don't have all the price action we need to also be on the lookout for something like this where this whole move could actually be a wave three here and what we would be then arguing is that this is actually a fourth wave now if this is a fourth wave what we'd be looking for potentially would be something like a flat correction here in which case what we'd be saying is that this move to the downside is in five waves now we were looking for the potential to have a rally from this point here but we actually lost this low now because of that reason there's a couple of ways we can still look at this where we could still argue that this is one two three four and then we're looking for something like a diagonal pattern here in which case we could actually look to complete fairly soon and then what we'd be expecting is a move back to the upside now the key thing is here internally if we get a five wave move like this until we actually break back above this high we cannot write off the idea that we get three waves up and continue down if we have this as a fourth wave and then we're looking for a rally to the upside for a fifth this would be our current target level this uh, 178 to this 91 dollar region and then we'd, what we'd be expecting is this move to complete and then starting to see a five wave move to the upside looking to push us up into that zone now if we also look at the other way we discussed this in the previous video that we did we we're also saying that you know if we do get this as a flat here it could also just be a b c which would be a bit more bullish really because then what we'd be looking for would be a much bigger five wave structure where that one to one would be up here towards a 750 though we need to also bear in mind that we could still actually find this move truncating here where we actually see a move down towards some of these other fib levels actually looking to complete now an interesting one here would be this 0 0.618 which would be back into this high at this 146 and then higher up here we have this 400 and this 300 dollar level so going to be keeping an eye on that now we're going to talk about this move to the downside now the reason why that this is my most probable scenario here as an a wave completed into this high is because the move down is looking very large compared to anything that we have over here so because of that reason i am thinking that it's more probable that this is a completed structure here and what we're doing is forming a bigger corrective structure to the downside so there's a couple of ways that i'm looking at this move to the downside so we could argue that what we have here is that this is one two three four and five in which case what we are doing now is actually looking for this b wave to the upside now if we're looking for this b wave to the upside what i would be looking for is a three wave move looking to target out the zone of this 2885 to this 8290 now because it's a b wave this can be whatever structure that it wants to be it can potentially be something like a flat correction it can be a zigzag uh, it can be a triangle it can be whatever it wants so this is making it quite difficult to actually figure out what is taking place here if this is the case though however what we need to be aware of is that there is potential for us to get something like a bigger flat correction here now this would be a very tricky move if it does look to play out and would look something along these lines because then what we'd be saying is that this move to the upside is an A wave and we're looking for a three wave move to the downside for this Y wave, which the one to one would actually be here at the 740. I'm going to turn this 0.618 on. So the minimum requirement would be here at this 993. So if we do just get this move actually come down in three waves like this and we actually look to complete at this 0.618 and then look to rally above this high again, this could actually start to 
take place from this point here. However, that one-to-one -one is all the way down here, and the most common target area for wave B is towards this $8.02. So we're going to be keeping an eye on this if we do see this continuing to extend out to the downside here. This could align with the idea of this being a flat correction, in which case what we would then be looking for is that this could either be a completed B wave, or this could actually just form the A wave, we get B, and then we still look to push up one more time for a C wave. So that is the idea that we actually complete into this low with our five wave move. Now it is also possible, however, that if we're looking at this as one, two, three, four, and then we're looking for a fifth wave here, what we could actually see here is that we could get this as a diagonal. Now this would be counting this move slightly different. And what we'd then be saying is that this is actually A, B, and then this would all be a C wave. Now, what we'd then be saying is that this is three waves down, three waves up, three waves down, three waves up, and looking for another three wave move to the downside. Now, if this is the case, we could also argue that internally here, we have this as one, two, three, four, and five, which could make this an A wave. So if we get this as A, B, and this move turns into a five wave move, it could be that we're actually still within this third wave. The key thing is here, um, at the moment, we can argue both ways that we can count this into this low here as a three wave and a five wave, depending on how we want to count it. Now, if this is a diagonal, what we'd be expecting in the way that I've got it marked out here is a move down in three waves. Now, I do have this trend line drawn here towards this 977, which would align with coming back and actually breaking this wave three area. Now, if this is the case, what we could then see is that this could just be a five wave structure like this. And then we'd be looking for a reversal to the upside. That reversal to the upside would be looking to take out this wave two and therefore invalidating the potential of actually seeing any more continuation to the downside here. If, however, we want to look at this still within a five wave structure, we can also argue that what we could have got further back here was a triangle. Now, if we're going to look at this as a triangle, over here what we would then be saying is that this is actually our fourth wave area here and what we could be developing is actually a smaller diagonal pattern in which case we are still within the wave three in which case we'd be arguing this is one two three four and five now we'd be expecting a move back down here one more time like i said we have moved into the 0.618 level now if we do see this price action push down deeper here it is not allowed to cross the 743 and this would then mean that, you know, this is our still within our third wave here. And we'd be looking for then a three wave move up for a fourth and another three wave move down for a fifth. This would be limited by these wavelengths here because within a contracting diagonal like this, the wave one is the biggest, wave three is the second smallest, and then wave five is the smallest. So once we have a bounce here, we can then work out what our target should be for this fifth wave based off of the third wave if we do see something like this. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on this because this would actually be quite a um, quite a brutal combination here because both of these indicate volatility after completion. So it could mean that we start to see an aggressive push to the upside if we do get something like this with a triangle and a diagonal within the count. Now we could also argue that this move down is actually a bigger W and X and a Y. Now within the idea of this being a bigger W, X and a Y, I would ideally have liked to seen this push up higher. And it is possible that this X wave is still incomplete here. So going to be keeping an eye on this idea. But what we'd be saying is that we're looking at this rather than as just three waves to the downside. And we're looking at this as a connector wave. And then we're looking for that possibility of this Y wave down. Now within this idea here, what we'd then be saying is that our X wave could potentially be here. This becomes an A, this is potentially a B, or we could even look to push up a little bit higher and then look to push down, but effectively we'd be looking for a three wave move to the downside. Now, one thing I am still mindful of here is that we could still get something like this, where this X wave could actually just look to extend out here. Now we have actually still held this typical zone of a B wave that is expanding here. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on this. If we do see this as three waves here for this W, we have this as a corrective move to the downside. What we could get is a Y wave to the upside. Now this Y wave could still potentially itself play out as a flat correction here where we get this as three waves up. We get three waves down, look to potentially break this low 
and then look to actually come back up and push up with a five wave structure. If we do see something like this, what I will be on the lookout for is this one to one level, which is sitting here at the 1652. Alternatively, if we do look to push up higher here, we could see this move up towards this 1618, which would align with coming back into these highs, which would be this 2254. So what I'm going to be looking out for here locally is how this price action actually occurs here. If we continue to hold this three wave structure to the downside and it starts to contract, then the idea of the diagonal seems more likely. If, however, we see this just come down here in three waves, then we see price breaking back to the upside here. This would align better with the idea of this flat correction here looking for the possibility of this Y wave to the upside. Now, within this idea, this would still all be within this bigger W and X wave here. So we would be looking at this as a potential X wave moving to the side here before still having a push to the downside. So we'll have to keep an eye on this and see exactly where that completes. But an area I would also be interested in would be higher up here, this 382 zone, if we do see that come in. I'm actually going to throw this 236 on here. This would align with actually just coming slightly higher than the 1618 at this $24. So going to be on the lookout for that possibility here too. That, you know, if this does get more complex here, we could still see a push back up into this 236 to this 382 level before looking for this continuation to the downside. Now that's provided that we aren't following the idea of the diagonal because otherwise the diagonal invalidations are these highs and we'll have to keep them keep an eye on those to see if those continue to hold if they do continue to hold i do think that that is still the more likely potential here that this is actually looking as a diagonal from further back here in which case what we'd expect once it completes is a break of these highs once again within this idea of this being an x wave we could also argue that there is a triangle in here now if there's a triangle in here like this where this is a b c d e what we'd then be looking for is the potential that we could start to break to the downside in a three wave structure if that is an x wave triangle now if that's an x wave triangle what we'd then be looking for would be something along these lines here where what we're saying is that this move is a this is b and we're looking for a c wave to the downside that one to one of that c wave would be this 751 now if we do see price do this where we get this is a b and c to the downside here and we get a three wave move back up which rejects off the 786 to this 382 level we could still potentially look for that continuation to the downside in that c wave looking to push us down possibly towards this one to one level if we had to bounce back up towards this golden pocket area of this 1423 after this c wave to the downside now if we overlay that other option here what we will then see is that this brings us into that minimum requirement over here which would be this 0 0.618 at this 495 now we do also have a target box in this area at the 612 to this 448 that i will be keeping an eye on if we do see price come down here this would also align quite nicely with coming back into this little bit of structure that we've got over here so going to be obviously looking out for this potential if we do just continue to push down in corrective structure but like I said, at the moment, I do think that it is likely that we are either in this as a diagonal here, where we could potentially see this push down one more time here, looking to complete this fifth wave, and then look to push up. If we push back up above this 2156, the likelihood then becomes higher that this is looking at something like a diagonal here. But we need to just be aware of that other potential where we could still see a flat correction here, and then still see that push to the downside. Having a look at this entire price history here, what we can see is that we do also have this value area low, which is sitting below us at this 968. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on this zone if price continues to fall down here. We could potentially find an interaction on here. Once again, if we do look to push back to the upside, we also have this point of control sitting at this 1768, which could potentially be a resistance zone. If we do see price actually look to push back up here in that idea of this being something like a flat correction before that continuation down. So just going to be keeping an eye on those zones if we do look to push down into those levels. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. Leave us some feedback down below. And also in the description, you'll find a link to Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.